Hello, Western New York. I mean, from Western New York. And, well, today's a bit of an interesting day. It's kind of special. And, um, that's because tomorrow is my birthday. Yay! I'll be 28 years old. Yay! And, uh, well, let's see here. Yeah, one thing I might be doing is, uh, taking a closer look at this rose and see about removing a couple of the, these roses and see about removing this and this because it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, I thought he had a spider or something. It doesn't look like so, anything has grown on these two stalks. You know. Um, I take a, a closer look at um, some of these uh, canes on my blueberries. Because some of them, well, like this one right here, doesn't look like anything has grown on it. And some of them have little branches that, again, look like nothing has grown on them. I'm gonna cut them off, you know. That way they'll be better for next year. You know. <laughs> I mean, if nothing's grown on them, might as well not have them on the plant. Um. And. Yeah, these blueberries are coming along quite nicely. Um, lots of them. That I can see. Um, yeah, and take a look in here and again, try to remove the dead stuff. Or at least the obviously dead stuff. <laughs> Don't know about these two, but you know, take a look, see how things are. This. I think I might remove it. This, well, I might uh, shorten this down to about here or so. You know, basically take off the stuff that ain't any good. There's a couple of no good, a couple of canes and whatnot that aren't any good. Because they look dead. Nothing down in here that really made it. And he, who knows? It might be okay, but it's like they got no obvious growth. It's kind of clear. I mean, after all, there isn't any growth, no reason keeping them. Might put in some more roses, right? Put in some roses along in here. You know, that's what I wanted to put in the first place. Maybe find some discounted rose, you know? Roses. <laughs> um, the, uh, the honey berries, or hash cap. Um, I see here. Well, as you can see, nothing. I don't expect anything to form on them this year. Next year? Well, we'll see what happens next year. Um, gooseberries are coming along nicely on these. Um, 
Red currants. Eh, only a handful, like I said, like I've mentioned. Almost not even worth the bother. Um, gonna do some work on these two wild roses. And that was a bumblebee buzzing around. Um, there's a couple, like this wild rose right here. I mean, there's there's a couple of canes on it that I'm gonna cut back. You know. Um, these gooseberries are looking good, like I said. The, and this one is just loaded with fruit. Because that I only put in the ground last summer. Um, this, I'm going to have to tie up to, again, I'm going to have to get like two things of string or something. Wrap it around twice, or <laughs> maybe even try to see if what if I can support one of the lower down ones, you know, on the lower part of the, you know, right about here, as well as one up here, you know, try and better support it that way. Cause it's got a good deal of weight on it, and that weight needs to be balanced properly. Um. <sighs> Gonna have to do something with this because it's not gonna do me any good the way it's growing. Although there is a little bit on this, and I got some good shoots coming off the bottom. So, like I said, I'm gonna do some cutting. Gonna also do some cutting on this plant here, too. I mean, there's. Yeah. Yep. Maybe cut it right about here. I think there's a butter, couple of buds that might do me good. You know, might do that tomorrow. Because you now there's the things I don't think that's going to do and grow in too good. These gooseberries are looking good. This gooseberry you know, is kind of short, obviously. I bet that one's coming along pretty good. Wild is doing relatively, is doing fairly well. Might have a bug or two around. Seems to happen. Prime roses are doing okay. Plus whatever these are, and of course whatever these are. That rose is coming along nicely. I see I have a, might have a cane or two to cut out. The tips to cut off because they don't look all that good. Um, As you can see, we've got a couple of roses that are doing pretty good. And of course, the grapes are doing pretty reasonably well. <sighs> Depending on how things are, I might end up having to do a little bit of ro work on this rose. I mean, I think this is the. Uh, Malte Floral Rose, you know, they it was brought over here for a root stock for grafting onto the less hardy varieties of roses, you know. And then, of course, it escaped, became an invasive weed, and I'm um, certain you heard the rest of the history. Um, my fault goats are coming along nicely. I'm going to have to take a closer look at some of them. Especially last year's stuff. Um, although the reds are, you know, I got some good, good, col you know, good flowers growing, you know. Um, going to have to take a closer look in here because I know I got a blackberry in here and a black raspberry in here somewhere hiding. 
just like I know I got some over in here but again they are being hidden by the rest <laughs> in fact what I might have to do is just quite literally carefully take out the red raspberries from this little section and relocate them to another spot here maybe? I don't know recovered my maple trees <laughs> had to do some weeding especially where this burdock was concerned Gonna have to mow that section down. That blackberry's doing pretty good right here. I got these weeds hopping up on me around this one. Relatively easy to knock down. Got some trees popping up. I think the they are. Ash, <laughs> think. Yeah, they look like ash trees to me. Reason, gotten reasonably tall. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean this. I mean, this is just a, essentially a freestanding wall, which isn't really doing a, a real anything. But you know, the sun hits it, and it helps with the heat a little bit. And a protection on the wind, more or less. <laughs> Got some weeds I'm gonna have to deal with around in here, like always. Strawberry, so, got some strawberries coming along. Um, no runners or anything like that, but. You know, uh, black raspberries are coming along. Wild ones over there doing okay. Flowers on the, my one wild blackberry over here. So I don't step on anything. Are rather nice to look at. And um, some of my other plants, you know, they're coming along doing fairly well. Squirrel! Well, you got this wild one right here. Wild raspberry. Parts of it don't look all that good. Although I see it's, uh, it's got setting up its suckers, you know, which is a good sign. Black raspberries are sending up their suckers, which is, again, good sign. Hmm. You know. Granted, some spots might have a little trouble with their plants but must look like they're gonna be okay um, one little project I'm gonna have to work on this weekend is tapping or 
paint chain, you know, just taking off the tops of some of these um, black raspberry and blackberry plants of the excuse me, of the primocanes. That is the canes that have grown this year. Um, this is because these are about three, three and a half feet tall, some of them, and I'm going to need to cut them right about here, some of them. And um, this is so that way they can branch out. That way I will get more fruit from them next year. Um, <laughs> but... That's for no, that's for tomorrow. I mean, it's about it. It's after eight o'clock now. Mm. Had a good supper. Uh, you know, <laughs> do a steak. You know, great present for your birthday. Started off with a steak dinner. <laughs> Well, um, this is Western New York. Um, subscribe if you like this. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, post comments. Tell me what you think of my videos. Alright. Well, goodbye.